also developing right now, anticipation outside the governor's mansion. Protesters got word the governor of Puerto Rico is supposed to make an announcement. They've been out there for hours, some even days, calling for him to resign following the leak of controversial messages and corruption accusations. News 6's Troy Campbell is live in the newsroom tonight. And Troy, there is a lot of uncertainty among Puerto Ricans on the island and here in Central Florida. At least now CBS News is reporting that Governor Ricardo Roseo has actually left the governor's mansion, but no word on if he will resign. Also, a leading newspaper in Puerto Rico is reporting that after agreeing with legislatures to step down earlier today, he simply changed his mind. Now, Puerto Ricans here in Central Florida, they came together asking what's next. There's a person in this room that at one point or another didn't say this place is pretty messed up. There's corruption going on here, but we finally had it rubbed in our faces. Puerto Ricans in Orlando coming together for a town hall, addressing the momentum they've seen grow on their home island during the past 12 days, mounting pressure for Governor Ricardo Roseo to step down. This after private messages sent by Roseo were released and have since been deemed offensive by many. In the past few days, we've seen how integrity is becoming contagious too, because those crowds kept on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Crowds once again on the island growing by the thousands tonight outside the governor's mansion in San Juan. Tonight, experts answered questions here in Central Florida about the political process. Explaining what the Constitution requires in this process, how does it work, what were the options that the governor had, what were the options that the legislature has. The group says they want to continue to organize and use their political power for the greater good of Puerto Ricans as a whole. But there's so many more issues that layer on top of it. So the, the, the situation is much more complex than face value about the impeachment or the resigning of the governor. And the Speaker of the House in Puerto Rico has said if Governor Roseo doesn't resign, he will begin the impeachment process. Despite it being reported Roseo has left the governor's mansion tonight, police and riot gear, they continue to guard that property as thousands gather. Live in the newsroom tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Troy, thank you.